Chapter 658. Recognize Reality. Miao Yang Tzu is really a character. On return, Meng Feng sighed and felt deep admiration for the Miao family for decisively sacrificing Miao Tai. King Lai and Hong Bowen were also discussing this matter together. The Miao family has submitted. We can take over the minds of Black Cloud Palace and Heavenly Sea Pavilion again. Hong Bowen's face was full of smiles. Blood Fiend Sect needs great amounts of spirit materials in order to recover. We must sort out all on the periphery that we can. The Miao family has a Nirvana Realm Expert, but this time, we almost smashed the Shield of Cold Moon and the Nirvana Realm Expert did not appear. This is strange. Sheng Yu Miao's expression was grave. Do you know the situation of that Nirvana Realm Expert? Meng Feng asked. Shaking his head, Sheng Yu Miao replied, I'm not too clear. However, in the past when the Miao family fought against their enemies, the strongest and the most difficult of the enemies would be ambushed and killed. Black Cloud Palace and Heavenly Sea Pavilion had three martial practitioners in the middle and late stages of Fragmentation Realm that were killed. It seems that there is a Nirvana Realm expert hiding in the Miao family. Hong Bo nodded. I wonder what the other strength is. I do not think. It is very high. Amen. The Shang brothers nodded as well. No matter how they speculated, they would not think that the Nirvana Realm expert of the Miao family was the last patriarch of the Miao family, Miao Fengshin. More so, they would never think that Miao Fengshin had reached the late stages of Nirvana Realm and only lacked enough spirit materials to create a soul lauder and interim perishable realm. They would never even think that Miao Fengshin and Zhang Zhe were in secret contact all this time. Uncle Hong. I need to return to illusory demon sect, Zhu Moyan suddenly said. You want to find your master? Hong Bowen was shocked. Yes. Zhu Moyan nodded lightly. Go. Hong Bowen did not ask any more questions. He casually glanced at King Lai, suddenly smiling and saying, King Lai, do you want to visit illusory demon sect? Illusory demon sect is an old silver force, and there are many unique things about it. Maybe you can gain experience and knowledge along the way? Zhu Moyan's long eyelashes softly flickered. Bowing her head to stare at the tips of her feet, she felt a thread of anticipation. Not interested. Kin Lai refused in a cold tone. I'm in a hurry to go back to the Scarlet Tide Continent with Sister Tino and the others. I do not have the time to go visit Illusory Demon Sect. Hearing him say this, Zhu Moyan's eyes became dim and there was a dispirited expression on her face. But because her head was bowed, no one saw and they did not know what she was thinking. Then I'm going first. After saying this, Zhu Moyan did not look at anyone. Along, she turned and drove a crystal chariot to fly into the clouds. Seeing her fading figure, Hong Bo sighed inwardly. There was nothing he could say. Kin Lai, I think that you and Moyan are suited to each other. Ha ha. How about I play matchmaker? Meng Feng picked up the topic. Look, Big Brother Zhu is like a master father figure for you. Sister-in-law and I also thinks highly of you. Everyone in Blood Fiend Sect has a good opinion of you. If you are willing, there are no obstacles between you and Moyan. Uncle Meng, I accept your good intentions. Qin Lai smiled slightly and said, I have someone I'm interested in. Senior Sister Zhu also has the same. She has someone she likes. We do not have any feelings between us. We cannot get together. Also, the connection between me and Blood Fiend Sect will not change because of a marriage. When he said this in front of Hong Bowen and Meng Feng, it was the same as refusing Blood Fiend Sack's good intentions. Hong Bo smiled bitterly. Meng Feng had a shocked expression. In his view, even though Blood Fiend Sect had declined, it was still an ancient and powerful force. Zhu Moyan was the only daughter of Zhu Li and Mo Lanai, and also the direct disciple of Yu Linu. In terms of status, beautiful and power, she could match to Qin Lai. As long as there was an engagement to Zhu Moyan, Qin Lai was almost as sure to be the leader of Blood Fiend Sect in the future. He would possess Blood Fiend Sect's enormous resources and have a place in the land of chaos. Meng Feng believed the great majority of young martial practitioners would not be able to refuse this marriage. I've used a lot of spirit power and soul power to control the eight slabs of Thunderbliss wood. I'm going back to rest. King Lai stood up, bowed slightly to the group, and then left with ease. The Shang brothers exchanged a look and perceptively stood up. They walked out after Qin Lai. Moyan is the pearl of our blood fiend sect, where is she not good enough for the boy? Also, if he marries Moyan, wouldn't the boy be in charge of blood fiend sect in the future? Why would he refuse something so good? Meng Feng sat there with a frown to indicate his puzzlement. The round Hong Bowen grimaced. Old Meng, I thought the same as you in the past. I also thought that In Lai would not be able to refuse the marriage. I originally thought that facing such a great temptation, he will abandon Ms. Song and his childhood love, the girl surnamed Ling, back on the Scarlet Tide Continent. That he would get together with Moyan. You do not think that now? Meng Feng stilled. I do not think that now. Hong Bo sighed softly. After the battle at the Setting Sun Islands, I suddenly found a problem. This makes me helpless, but I have to admit that this is reality. How so? Think carefully. If Qin Lai did not appear, what would Blood Fiend Sect be like now? Hong Bowen shouted. Meng Feng frowned. A long time later, Meng Feng said with a dark face, Without Qin Lai, Big Brother Zhu will not have broken free of Zhang Zhu's restraints. He would be still sealed in the Scarlet Tide Continent. Without Qin Lai entering the Graveyard of Gods, even if Mo unfortunately survived, she would not live long due to her longevity. Without Qin Lai giving the body of the Blood Progenitor to Big Brother Zhu, Big Brother Zhu will have no hope of rising again, and sister-in-law may not have awoken. Without Qin Lai, Duan Kianji would not have appeared at the battle on the Setting Sun Islands. If he did not show up, the ten of us would have needed to use our blood essence to form the blood demon to heavily injure Pu Zi. Without Qin Lai using the eight god corpses to fight Zhang Zhe's later, 
The body of the blood progenitor would be stolen by Zhang Zai's. Meng Feng's head was bowed as he thought seriously about the events. The more was said, the darker Meng Feng was, and the weaker his voice was. Now you see? Hong Bowen grimaced. Meng Feng nodded lightly and said dispiritedly, So the reason that Blood Fiend sect has today and was able to walk out of the shadows was all because of this boy. Big Brother Zhu once said, Qin Lai has many secrets. He is the most important person of Blood Fiend sect's rise. I didn't believe it. I thought that Big Brother Zhu was exaggerating Qin Lai's importance. But once I understood the reality, I have to admit the reason that Blood Fiend sect has today is completely due to Qin Lai's appearance. Hong Bo said with a sigh. The pride on Meng Feng's face faded. Think back to the battle on the Setting Sun Islands. Hong Bo and continued to speak. I had that Lei Yan came to the Setting Sun Islands in order to take Qin Lai to Thunder's Roar to see Forefather Terminator. Before the battle, Guan Xian seemed to receive a message from Nan Zhengxin to not kill Qin Lai. During the fight, Duan Kianji came and helped Qin Lai smash Puzi's soul altar, keeping Qin Lai safe. Forefather Terminator, Duan Kianji, in a sixth heavenly sword of heavenly sword mountain, Lin Yu, they are all people at the top of the land of chaos. If Qin Lai leaves Blood Fiend Sect, he can pick any of the three, and his future will not be any less than if he stays at Blood Fiend Sect. He might have an even brighter and peaceful future. At Blood Fiend Sect, he will be forced to during many dangers, and be restrained in certain aspects. Due to this, Qin Lai can leave at any time, and after leaving Blood Fiend Sect, his life would not change. It may become even smoother. And thus, once we leave Qin Lai, the Setting Sun Islands will not have the protection of the eight god corpses, Zhang Zuz, Win Bin. Any imperishable Reem expert can come and Blood Fiend Sect could be exterminated. The Blood Fiend Sect of today has nothing to tempt him, and we are extremely reliant on his existence. It's not that he is reliant on us. You need to be clear about this. In the future, do not feel as though you are above him and facing him. Because we are surviving by relying on him. After Hong Bo had said this, Meng Feng was silent for a long time. He was finally forced to accept the reality. Noon on the next day. After Qin Lai and the group returned to the Setting Sun Islands, Meng Feng and Hong Bowen went to find Mo Lanai immediately to tell what happened on this trip. The Shang brothers were also busy, gathering people to go to Black Cloud Palace in Heavenly Sea Pavilion's territories. They were going to take back the mines that Blue Moon Valley were controlling. Qin Lai returned to Flaming Sun Island. He expressed his intentions of returning to the Scarlet Tide Continent, and had those who wanted to return to prepare as quickly as possible. Song Tinu and Zi Jingsun came out. The two females found Qin Lai and began talking. Qin Lai. You once said that Jingsun and I have a share of the remains of the ancient elites. According to the number of people, all of us that came out of the graveyard of gods can get three. Jingsun and I only absorbed one. May we choose again? Song Tin said. Of course. Qin Lai nodded. Jingsun and I want one more. Song Tin's eyes lit up. Because the remains of the ancient elites are too large, we know it is not realistic to transport them to the Scarlet Tide Continent. It is not convenient to use the spatial transportation formation. So, so. Song Tin was slightly embarrassed. Just say it. Qin Lai urged. I hope that my father, and sister Tinu's father can borrow Blood Fiend Sex Transportation Formation after we return and come to the Setting Sun Islands to pick an ancient elite, Zi Jingsuan inserted. She looked at Qin Lai with clear eyes and said, I know that when Profound Heaven Alliance and the evil race of the Nether Realm made our agreement, what we did behind people's backs was not honest. I hope that you can forgive this matter, allow our fathers to come, and use the ancient elites to increase their strength and cultivate for me and sister Tinu. Qin Lai was silent. In the past, when the Horn Demon race used the Profound Yin Nine Leaf Lotus to trade for Kulu, Profound Heavenly Alliance immediately attacked after the transaction. They wanted to kill the Horn Demon race and the members of the Ling family. If Qin Lai didn't have the Eye of Frost and moved everyone into the Land of Frost, they would have all been killed. After the matter, Profound Heaven Alliance and the Eight Extremely Temple passed a message through the entire Scarlet Tide continent to kill him, the Horn Demon race, and the members of the Ling family. Many of the actions that Profound Heaven Alliance had done then had angered Qin Lai. In the end, he had awakened the ancient beasts and retaliated when Profound Heaven Alliance, Eight Extreme Temple and Joyful Union sect attacked Herb Mountain. He almost destroyed all of Profound Heaven Alliance's Ni family while Eight Extreme Temple and Joyful Union sects were heavily impacted. Only when Li Mu showed himself to the fight between he and Profound Heaven Alliance, Eight Extreme Temple and Joyful Union sect finally calm. Profound Heaven Alliance and Eight Extreme Temple had paid a great price. Under Li Mu's protection, he had left the Scarlet Tide Continent without ever looking back. Many years had passed. He still did not have a good opinion of Profound Heaven Alliance but due to Song Tinu and Zi Jingsun and the increase in his status and the broadening of his vision, he no longer felt so strongly. Besides, the Scarlet Tide Continent was under the control of Profound Heaven Alliance. Many of his friends were in Profound Heaven Alliance's subordinate forces. In the future, he might still need to interact with Profound Heaven Alliance. He could not slaughter Profound Heaven Alliance when Song Tinu and Zi Jingsun existed so he needed to overcome his mental obstacle. For you too, I will. Agree. A long time later, Qin Lai barely managed to agree. Zi Jingsun's eyes lit up, and gave a smile. Song Tinu smiled bright and wrapped around his arm to give him a kiss. I just knew you will not be so small-minded. Her eyes were filled with comfort. Song Yu and Zi Yang were all in the fragmentation realm. If they could get a secret inheritance from the remains of an ancient elite and break out of the fragmentation realm, it would be crucial for the future development of Profound Heaven Alliance. As daughters, they thought for the future of their fathers. After their trip to the land of chaos, 
They understood that strong cultivation and one's own power could have the effect of determining everything in a conflict of forces. When the trio was speaking, Mo Hai, Feng Rong, Tang Siki, Liang, Yi Yuan, and the martial practitioners of the Scarlet Tide continent came from all over. When Tang Siki arrived, she saw Song Tin arm in arm with Qin Lai. There was still also the moist mark of lips on the left side of Qin Lai's face. After a glance, her face dimmed and her mood dropped. We also prepare to go back to the Scarlet Tide continent. Feng Rong said after walking close. Other than Lang Zi who doesn't have any connections, and who does not plan to return, we are prepared to return. All right, no problem. Qin Lai said. After he spoke, Qin Lai found someone from Blood Fiend Sect to communicate and then notified Hu Yun of Gold Sun Island. He also went to the spirit material stores of Gold Sun Island and picked some spirit artifacts they obtained from Black Cloud Palace and Heavenly Sea Pavilion. He also retrieved medicinal pills, and many spirit materials and herbs that were valuable and rare on the Scarlet Tide continent. After preparing everything, he took everyone to the transportation formation and stepped onto the transportation formation accompanied by Meng Fei. A bloody light glowed. Everyone that came from the Scarlet Tide continent that was inside the transportation formation was wrapped in red light. After a wave of strong vibrations, everyone disappeared. 